love with the motherfucking racks. I fell in love with the motherfucking stacks. No, I cannot fall in love. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Stacks, and I'm back with another video. Today I got another clothing haul for y'all, man. I've been trying to get these videos out faster, but I do all my shopping online, so I be having to wait for it to come in. Some brands ship a little faster than others, but. I got a lot of pieces in hand right now that I've been getting over the past couple weeks or so, maybe like a month or so. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got, put y'all on to a couple brands hopefully, and yeah, I'm just get right into it. And I got a little bit of an update about my brand too, if y'all care to know anything about that. So yeah, stay tuned until the end, but let's get right into it, man. All right, so first, this is a brand that I've been looking into for a minute now, I'm not gonna lie. The first person I seen wear this brand is Lil Yachty. So I don't know if y'all know about it, it's a brand called AFB. This is like the logo, like the stars or whatever, but I saw Yachty wear it in like an old video. This is like early 2023 or something. And I didn't really even know this was the brand until like I really just like looked into it and seen it on Instagram. But this is the brand, AFB. This is one of the tees that I got. It says AFB, love and peace. Now what I really like about this brand and these t-shirts is that it's really good quality. And I like how it fits because this is a Japanese brand. And if y'all know Japanese brands, like they be kind of fitting a little different than American brands. So you really got to like figure out what your size is. But this is my first time copying from them. I got this tee and then I also got another one. I might as well show y'all now. Got this one too. So this is my favorite one. I like this one the most. And honestly, now that I'm feeling both of them and comparing them, this one definitely feels a little bit more heavyweight than this one. This one still feels good, but this one is definitely a little bit more heavyweight. This one just says AFB. Got a little cool little design on it, but I like both of these. I seen these on another site that I shop on. It wasn't even their site. It was another site that I shop on that has a lot of Japanese brands and I just ended up copying these. And I think they recently did a collab with Ian Connor too. So they've been on the come up, they've been on the rise. Y'all tap in AFB. All right, so next, this is a brand that I actually showed in my last video. So if you haven't watched that video, go tap in. It's a lot of fire pieces in there, but shout out my boys over there at Lot Left. They left me a card. They always doing real unique pieces. So it says, thank you for your purchase, J Stacks. I can't cuff a hole. So if y'all don't know, I used to make music like way back in the gap. I still kind of do, but I just kind of like, I haven't really been into it as much as I used to. But as you can see, all their pieces is like limited in number. So I got 11 out of 25. And then it says Misery Lane. Now I'm not gonna say too much about what that is, but hey, it's a little Easter egg, I guess you could say. And then they threw some stickers in here. We always love some cool stickers. They got the Yukon pissing on Purdue. You know what I mean? And then we got, I think this is like, they got different letters, so this is the F. And they also got the lot left sticker. So cool stickers, but this is the T I got. So basically it says lot left, life's a gamble. And I just like the colors. If y'all don't know, purple is my favorite color. And then I like any type of brown tea. I feel like brown teas are cool, especially for the summertime. Like you can really do a lot with a brown tea. We had a couple teas on the site. They've been dropping pretty consistently. So like I said in the last video, y'all go tap in, man. I'm about to show y'all another piece that they dropped, actually. It's another t-shirt that I caught. Might as well show y'all that now, too. So this one, I don't know if y'all listen to V's, but V's got a song called Boat Interlude with Lil Yachty. And feel me, I ain't about to get too much into it. But basically, this is one of the lyrics from the song. It said, my money different color rainbow, I think that is sus. So basically, that's one of the lyrics from the song. But he basically took one of the lyrics from the song, put it on his t-shirt with a real cool concept. And then on the back, as y'all can see, it spells out lot left, but like in different currencies. You feel me? So these are all like different currencies. So that's crazy. Like, feel me, a cool back graphic can never go wrong, especially on the white tee, so. I mean, this is another one of the cool tees that they came out with. I told y'all go tap in, man. They taking over. Lot left. L-O-T-L-E-F. So next, we got a couple pieces from Urban Outfitters, actually. Now, this ain't nothing crazy, but I just wanted to show y'all. So this is like, I honestly forgot what it was called, but it's like a basic white tee that they sell, but it just got really cool dimensions and like a real cool fit to it. It's like a crop tee. So I did try it on, and honestly, it's like, it's a real good tee. Like, I like it a lot. I haven't worn it yet. I'm definitely about to wear it soon, but this is the logo right here, if that is any type of tell of what the t-shirt is called. But y'all go tap into Urban Outfitters tees, man. They really good quality. And I also got this, like, repurposed sweater, I think. So basically, the sweater was made from, like, a bunch of different sweaters and materials that was, like, sewn into one. Now, I like the concept. And the thing about when you buy this off the Urban Outfitters site is like you don't know which colors and like which version of the sweater you're gonna get. So like the one I seen on the site was like cool. And then I got this one and like, it's not bad, but like one, 
they say it's a one size fits all. This is too small, one. It's just too small. And then two, I just feel like they could have did a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. Like, they basically just, I don't know. It's not bad. I'll probably be able to throw a fit on with this and like make something work, but I just feel like they could have did a little bit better, especially with how long I waited. But I ain't gonna lie, it's a cool concept, so I'm not too mad. If I don't wear it, I'll probably sell it. But like again, it says extra, extra large, but it's not an extra, extra large, bro. This is this is a small. But again, I try to make it work. If not, I'll sell it. So if y'all want it, go ahead and comment down below. And I might just give it to one of y'all. All right, so let's hop into a pair of pants or the only pair of pants in the whole video. Actually, no, it's not the only pair of pants. So these are from a brand called HYS or HYS Studio, High Studio. I'm not exactly sure how to say the name of the brand, I'm not gonna lie, but these are a crazy pair of pants. As y'all can see, it just got a whole bunch of different screen prints and like hand drawn designs all over it. Like this is screen printed, but then like this logo right here looks like it was like spray painted on in some type of way. This is also screen printed, but then like this right here was like hand drawn with some type of fabric marker, I guess. It just got some crazy designs on here, honestly. They got the Care Bear with the Anarchy symbol. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of cool designs right here. Then they got the Betty Boop on this side with the HYS. These are a cool pair of pants, man. Now, honestly, they a little big on me, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna still make them work, honestly, in some type of way. I don't know when I'll be wearing these, but I will throw these on at some point. These are a cool pair of pants, man. Y'all gonna tap on with HYS. And I actually got something crazy coming with this brand real soon that I will speak on. Maybe not in this video, but in a future video. So again, that's another Easter egg. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so these tees right here, I've been wanting to show y'all for a minute because if you're not already tapped in with this brand, you need to tap in. So if you don't know about this logo right here, basically the brand Ass Pizza, or if you don't know about Ass Pizza, basically Babbitt, they basically do these like $25 t-shirt drops every Friday, which is basically like a different design that they make. And they like take these thrifted tees basically and they wash them, you know what I'm saying? They you know, they cleanse them, do what they got to do. And then they print whatever design they got for that week on that tee. So it might be a blank like this one, or it might be a tee that already had like a design on it. And they'll basically print their own design on top of it and just repurpose the tee so that, you know, it has more life and it can be turned into some real drip again. But basically, so I'm gonna show y'all this one because this is my favorite one. This is like a real tree tee. So it's just a blank real tree tee. So I got real lucky with this one because you feel me, it could have already had like a weird design on the back. But it does, it's just a blank real tree tee. And then they got, I don't know if y'all ever played Fallout on the Xbox or whatever, but it got like this character from Fallout. I forgot his name, but the character from Fallout, then the, they always use like the number 730 for their brand. So that's like their branding on the Fallout character. But this is a real cool tee. This is one of my favorite tees in my collection now, I'm not gonna lie. I know I say that a lot, but I really mean that. And then for this one, just a little thrifted tee. I forgot what it said on the back. It almost seems like it's like a location or a random city somewhere. And then on top of that, they obviously put the Fallout characters. So this is real cool. I actually ordered some more tees from them that's coming in soon. So y'all stay tuned in for that. But y'all go tap in. Again, the brand name is Babbitt. All right, you know I can't have a clothing haul, at least not on my channel, without there being a half evil piece in there. <laughs> like, I know I probably done had a half evil piece in every one of my videos I ever dropped. But I've been wanting a rhinestone piece from half evil for a minute, but they always sell out mad fast. So this time I was able to get my hands on one. And I really, usually am not really a fan of navy and it's crazy because I got a navy tee on right now. But like, I don't know, certain navy tees just be speaking to me. And obviously this is one of them. Like rhinestone, you really can't go wrong. But I just feel like the rhinestone on the navy go crazy. So this is definitely a tee I'll be putting on in the summer real soon. Like when I want to be flashy, stand out, you feel me, with the rhinestones on my back and shit. But feel me, little half evil piece. Y'all already know I was going to have them in the video. I just have to at this point. All right, next. Now these are some very controversial pieces that I got coming up right now, man. A lot of y'all might hate them. Some of y'all might love them. But I bought these things like four months ago. So y'all probably already know exactly what I'm talking about by me saying that. But <sighs> I bought them. I bought some Kanye pieces, man. I bought the Kanye pieces for twenty dollars. Now I ain't go too crazy. Now, I only bought four things, so I'm gonna start off with the pants. I got the Vultures merch um, pants, sweatpants. I don't know what they call. It. I think they just call them the Vultures black pants. But honestly, I tried all this on, and it all fits pretty good. Like these, I know a lot of people were saying like these are like mad baggy and whatever, but they not that baggy. Like you can tie them up, feel me? You can really still freak these. Like they not that bad. Like. You feel me? I'm probably not gonna wear these unless it's like 
definitely got to be cold out. And it's like, I don't know. I really just got to be going for a certain aesthetic with these, but I'm going to definitely wear them. As for the tees, now I know the fit for this tee is very different than most of the tees on the site. Like this one is basically like a sleeveless tee, but it has like small, it's like a small part of the fabric that like can be considered like a sleeve. But like for the most part, this is almost like a tank, but it fits like a t-shirt. So this is basically the, I think they call it like the box tee or the one tee. I don't know, but it's a tee with the one on the back. I actually really like this t-shirt. I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people kind of hate it on it because of how it fits, but I just feel like that's how it's supposed to fit. If you don't like it, maybe you just shouldn't have bought it. We got the Vultures tan long sleeve. I know that's not what it's called, but basically, if y'all go on the site, y'all probably be able to find all this. And if not, it's probably because I bought it like four months ago. This is one of the Vultures tees. They got like, I think this is the soundtrack on the back, all the songs, and then on the front, it got the Vultures um, design, basically like a beach, a beach design with the Vultures and the old script. Fine, I like this tee, honestly. It's just a calm tan green tee, feel me with the brown letters, so definitely be throwing this on in the summertime. Even though it's hot, you still throw this on because it's still very lightweight. So you don't gotta worry about it making you sweat or nothing like that. All right, last but not least, yes, I obviously had to get the pods. Like, why would I not get the pods, right? So I'm not gonna throw them on in this video or whatever, cause I'm pretty sure there's plenty of videos out there, you know, people telling y'all how these fit or whatever, but I just wanted to show y'all, I did end up getting the Yeezy pods, man. And honestly, these are my first time taking them out the packaging. So as y'all seen, it just comes with like this little black dust bag. Honestly, very cheap quality, nothing crazy at all. I got the size one and then this is it. Honestly, they feel way more heavy than I thought. I thought they was gonna be way more lightweight. So from what I've been hearing, they're basically just a sock upper and it's basically like walking with a pair of socks that has foundation at the bottom. So like basically like walking with socks outside, but not really being able to feel the ground beneath you. That's what I've been hearing from the reviews I've seen and watched on the pods, but I'm gonna throw these on sometime soon and I'll probably tell y'all in a future video how I feel about these. But again, these been out for a minute. There's plenty of people that talked about these, so they really ain't even nothing special no more. All right, so the last couple pieces of the video. Now I did end up copying me a fitted trying to figure out where I got this from. I think it was Hat Club, I'm really not sure. I think it was Hat Club, but I just got me a little fitted, feel me? Ever since I cut my dress, which if you just now found my channel, if you watch my old videos, as you can see, I did have dress before and I did end up cutting them just cause, you know, I just got tired of the dress. It's really not that big a deal why I cut them. But basically, this is my first fitted hat ever since I cut my dress. So I had to try to find my size and whatnot. And if y'all watched my last video, y'all seen the fours that I had in that video. I basically bought this hat to go with the forest, feel me, if you see where I'm going with it. But yeah, I already like how it fit. I actually gotta bend the brim a little bit better, but this is basically how it fits. I just wanna show you how it looks or whatever. Got the pink under visor, and then it got the green right here with the gray upper, pink in the logo with the little side patch, feel me? Always gotta go side patch on them. So this is a nice little calm hat, man. Definitely gonna be wearing this real soon. All right, next is probably my favorite piece of this entire haul, just because it costs the most. <laughs> so obviously I'm gonna like it the most if it costs the most. Not necessarily, but in this case, yeah. So as y'all can see, big ferro on them, you know what I'm saying? Had to go feral for the sunglasses. Honestly, this is my first pair of like a designer sunglasses in a minute. I remember when I was in high school, I think my dad gave me like some Gucci's that I never really wore because I was never really a sunglasses type of guy. But as you get older, you understand that accessories go a long way. So I had to give me a calm little pair of sunglasses. So I got these, the black ferros, as y'all can see. I ain't really, I ain't even really show y'all, but it just says Ferro Gamo on the side, nothing crazy. Nah, but honestly, I copped these because I actually got a trip coming up in a week, actually. I'm going to PA. And I might vlog that whole experience. It's like I'm going to a theater to see it play. So I might vlog it, I might not, but basically I cop these sunglasses for that trip. So I was like, might as well get some ones that I could really just keep for a while that I really like. So I ended up copping the Ferragamo. But I don't know, I feel like sunglasses can be like the perfect accessory. It can really upgrade your fit, something crazy. But enough of these, I just wanted to show y'all. Like I said, this is one of my favorite pieces of the haul. And the, this is the authenticity little slip. Just to show y'all that these are in fact real. It got the QR code to go on the site and make sure they're real, which I did that because I wanted to make sure yeah boom a lot of y'all might know exactly what these is by the box but i got the protection pack new balances i forgot what color, what number they is it's the 2002 r so the new, new balance 2002 r's 
I got the protection pack, the gray colorway of the protection pack. So just to show y'all. Oh, and another thing, I got these from Poison. So just to show y'all. I don't know if y'all know. A lot of people been making videos about Poison on YouTube in particular, but Poison is indeed legit. They sent these real fast and they are actually cheaper than every other site. Like, and that's including StockX, Go Grailed for the most part. Like Poison got it when it comes to prices and shipping, they got it. And like, they really take the time to authenticate each and every shoe and they send you a tag on each shoe just to make sure that you know that they authenticated it. So I really like that extra measure they go to make sure that you know that you're getting something authentic, but I got the protection pack and the gray colorway, like I said. These go with everything, man. I'm gonna be wearing these a lot this summer and just in general. And I'll probably get another pair. If not this same color, probably a different color. But yeah, man, just the protection packs. I know these been out for a couple years now, so nothing crazy to show on the tube no more. But I had to cop me a pair, man, just to go with everything. Just really just some little throw on new balances. I can really put on like a crazy fit with these at the same time. So that's why I like these. But yeah, man, it is going to come to the end of the video, man. I appreciate all y'all for sticking through for the people that are still watching. So for the news that I got from my clothing brand. Now, I dropped a little Easter egg in the video, man. So if y'all peep game, then y'all can kind of put two and two together. But basically, everything is coming into like the finalizing stages when it comes to my brand, um, especially like the logo and stuff. That's basically all I'm really waiting on is like the logo. I got a couple logos that I got being made. I'm just waiting on my boy to finish those. And then as soon as the logos are done being made, I already got the idea for my first collection. And then I got the site being worked on as well. So everything is coming to fruition. So if y'all do plan on tapping into my clothing brand when I drop that, just stay tuned. All the news and all the specifics, I'm gonna start dropping it for y'all soon. But I just wanted everything to be like finalized and good before I just like, you feel me, speak too soon. But everything's looking good. So God is good. And I'm happy that, you know, I'm finally starting something that I've always wanted to do. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna support me with that. So I thank you guys. and. Again, this is the end of the video. I hope I showed y'all a couple of brands that y'all didn't know about. You got more videos coming soon. Like I said, I might vlog the play that I go to in, uh, not Philly, but in PA. Whatever I do out there when it comes to like eating or whatnot, I'll probably just make a vlog out of it. And then I drop that for y'all. And then after that, I got some more pieces coming in that I'm gonna show y'all. And then I'll probably pivot into like more of like my wardrobe and what I already got and kind of like showing y'all what I already got as I wait for more things to come in. But go ahead and drop a like on the video if you made it to this point, man. And I appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with somebody. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.